Okay. Hello, my name is Pete Pizzatello. I'm a product marketing director here at CAS, and I wanted to do, uh, thank you for taking your time to join us today for today's webcast. Our speaker today is Melinda Ballou. She is the program director in application lifecycle management and executive strategies for IDC Research. Ms. Ballou provides thought leadership, uh, expert opinion, research and analysis on application lifecycle management with specific focus on software lifecycle process, configuration management, software quality, and IT governance. Ms. Ballou also offers competitive intelligence and consulting on key aspects of the ALM market to service providers, investment firms, and the Global 2000 end user clients. Um, at this time, I'd like to hand it off to Ms. Ballou, who will be speaking about driving business adaptability with software quality analysis in emerging market. Melinda? Hello, everyone. Um, I'm talking today about ways in which we see organizations augmenting their existing approaches to quality due to a number of competitive pressures and the importance of software in driving innovation for businesses. So we're going to be looking at what we've called the software quality analysis and measurement market and during the course of this webcast, and we'll welcome your questions as we move forward. So initially what we'll do as part of this discussion is to define and understand software quality analysis and measurement, as well as the trends that are driving adoption in what we see as a very, very complex emerging global economy and technology scenario for, for all of you and for the customers with whom we deal typically. Um, then we'll go through a survey that we performed in the past year and give you a sense for the context for our understanding of the factors that are driving significant growth in this emerging market and what are, we're also seeing with regards to adoption patterns and trends currently among that client base that we and user base that we surveyed. Then we'll talk about key strategies that we'll recommend to you moving into 2012 and 2013 and beyond to be able to effectively leverage these types of capabilities in your own environments and we'll address questions. So what we are finding is that there are very diverse deployment demands for mobile, cloud, embedded that are driving the need for architectural impact analysis for the application portfolio and the ways in which software is being designed from the get-go to be able to target these diverse environments. It's not simply enough to do stress and load testing or functional regression testing anymore. Organizations really need to understand how their or our applications have been architected and designed to target these environments and what the impact is going to be with emerging services as they deploy these types of, of types of software to drive their business innovation and business competitiveness in a very difficult global market. Um, I'm sure that many of you have been experiencing challenges from a resource perspective. It's not nearly the resource challenges that organizations are experiencing now, but also the need, the drive to, for instance, brand your company from a mobile perspective and um, understand how better to deploy what you're doing on the cloud. So having a context for understanding the architectural design and how that will impact performance and also the overall impact on the application portfolio is a critical aspect as well. As we see companies reinvesting now and doing more with fewer or no resources, we see that there's a significant need to augment the staff that they have with automation to be able to effectively understand what's going on with their code and that the software performs in timely and um, adaptive manner to emerging business needs in this context. We've seen an increase as well in complex sourcing. By complex sourcing, we mean offshoring, outsourcing, but also the use of open source. And they need to better understand with quantitative and qualitative metrics how these resources are delivering when you're looking at offshore and onshore providers is a critical piece of what's provided by software quality analysis and measurement tools. So both understanding how the code's been designed and architected and also how well it's performing from a stress and load from a static analysis perspective as well is critical. So these types of metrics augment what organizations have typically available to them to understand how well that they're executing with complex sourcing from the resources, the service providers. Um, also augmenting that with open source, it's important to have some context and governance of understanding of how that code is impacting the existing code base that you are le leveraging moving forward. Um, global economic competition and local compliance demands are also requiring that organizations better understand how their code is functioning, how it's designed and structured. Um, the flexible development paradigms with services creation, as I mentioned before, is driving a different kind of technology and business collaboration 
with the strong emergence of agile approaches to development. That too requires automation and visibility into how the code is structured as organizations are moving much more quickly to develop and deploy these solutions. Security issues and also the need for deploying on the cloud are driving interest in this space as well. We see a, a convergence between what we view as the automated software quality market and security vulnerability and management, which come together in our look at this particular space, and the need to better understand the impact from a user experience perspective. 